hi guys welcome to a new video so today's video like you can tell by the title i'll be speaking about how to grow your hair faster and what speculations are out there on the internet and we have we are bombarded with so much information that we uh, you know miscalculate and misunderstand a whole lot that are available on the internet and you know apply it upon ourselves new to my channel don't fail to subscribe hit that notification bell without wasting any time let's get started with today's okay you guys so you know when i was in college um, my hair was really healthy and the main reason why is just before hair washes i would oil my hair and then i would shampoo my hair i wouldn't straight up jump to the bathroom uh, to the shower you know washing my hair it's not possible if you have dry coarse parched hair i would suggest that you oil your hair and then use a shampoo conditioner don't straight up use the shampoo and conditioner i know that is a lot of information that is available on the internet silicone free then uh, sulfate free shampoo silicone free conditioners oiling can harm your hair this happens that happens it all depends upon what you take inside that affects your outside so it is important to have all of the supplementary dietary needs in your food intake which needs to be the number one target so i have been taking a couple of supplements like vitamin b vitamin b is really good for your skin and hair then uh, vitamin c is really good then collagen zinc iron all these things play are the important factors that you know if you take on the inside can affect your outside so in between after my college period i stopped oiling i started using serums and i don't think my hair can take serums which have a whole lot of silicones now i was using a shampoo that was sulfate it had sulfate in it i was using a conditioner which which had silicone in it and i was using a hair cream which was all natural i don't know himalayas is a all natural hair cream i don't know but my hair used to look really healthy and thick okay thick like you know i used to think i have a lot of hair but uh, i used to feel it is not think i could literally feel a lot of hair in my head but then i stopped oiling and i would straight up jump to washing my hair which ruined the health of my hair so today we will be targeting all that the number one oil which you need i know some people will hate this is the extra virgin coconut oil everybody knows this this is anti inflammatory it is hydrating moisturizing it is packed with all the goodness using this alone is going to help but i have been adding a few other oils along with this because i can't be using it alone i use castor oil castor oil is really hydrating if you are a curly haired person you know this is a staple because this is hydrating moisturizing and it is a multi purpose oil you can use it in your machine even i use it in my sewing machine just to you know get it all flexible and moving really smoothly so i use castor oil in that i have spoken about this i think and uh, this i use it on my hair but you can't use it alone you have to dilute mix it with a carrier oil like, like this so i mix it with coconut oil and olive oil olive oil is another oil which is super hydrating really good for the scalp natural health shine of your hair use olive oil this is something i purchased from nika so what i do is on alternate days i mix all these three oils and then i wash my hair very recently 2 weeks ago i started adding peppermint oil peppermint oil is great oil great oil great oil you know i'm sorry i'm sounding it's really amazing i'm not sound making it sound right but this oil is bomb every time i use this oil i feel some sort of a relief it is like a stress but buster it is relaxing on the scalp what you do is you just take two to three drops three to four drops max don't go overboard i take 
three to four drops mix it with all these oils and occasionally if i don't use castor oil i will replace it with shea butter i will make like a hot oil treatment microwave all the oils and finally i will add this and i will massage my scalp believe me my scalp health has improved i used to have flaky scalp my hair uh, my scalp you know ranges i don't know it has its moments sometimes it's like too oily i think it's during the summers and during monsoon and winter it's like flaky and dry this has resolved all of those problems so i use this with this i know a long time ago i had posted a video about saint botanica's go uh, go purple shampoo i will link the link up here and somebody commented why don't you make a video about faster hair growth and silicone free and sulfate free products i will not say anything about silicone and sulfate free frankly speaking the same botanica range is a very good shampoo and conditioner i have used their keratin treatment uh, pro keratin shampoo and treatment pro keratin shampoo and conditioner um range it was okayish this also is okayish but uh, the go purple shampoo conditioner shampoo is great it does its job it cleans everything whatever gunk conditioner doesn't do as much of a job the conditioner's job is to smooth detangle and make your hair manageable it did nothing of that sort i felt like i was applying something and once i was rin rinsing everything was coming off it wasn't giving me that kind of satisfaction of hydration moisturization manageability of uh, passing a comb through my wet hair so that i can distribute the conditioner evenly through my hair didn't like it in college i would use protein gentle shampoo uh, himalaya protein gentle daily care shampoo that was my go to and the conditioner would be the detangling detangling dryness defense shampoo these are like affordable shampoos and conditioners they these this is a sulfate shampoo and sulfate con uh, silicone conditioner it's not free from anything but it does the job i think ammonium lauryl sulfate is considered to be a milder form of sulfate so it doesn't lather as much so i don't feel like my hair is completely dry it is not like super squeaky clean once i wash my hair it is the right amount of a cleanser that can clean my hair and scalp but i do this every time i use all of this and before i you know pre shampooing is what i do all of this these this is something i do alternate days i tried doing like once a week wash i started shedding a lot of hair a lot of hair and there was a lot of knots in my hair and i went back to what i used to do before and my hair fall has reduced so it, there is no like technical theory or confirmation certified saying that sulfates and silicones are truly bad for your hair i wash my hair every alternate days so there is no much built up in my hair and i don't see as much flakiness uh, whilst using those silicone free products so called silicone free products i would still have like uh you know dryness and flakiness on my head so i just can't say and i won't really believe everything that is available on the internet i would yet again tell you do some thing to your hair provide all the nutrition to your hair that is best suited for you this is what is best suited for me and i don't use also as much shampoo the sulfate shampoo the himalaya protein gentle daily care shampoo that i use i use just a dime size amount and i rub it through my top portion over here then i take again a dime size amount bottom portion over here and then i uh, target my crown area i don't use shampoo on the lengths of my hair because once you rinse with the water all the shampoo the uh, residue that is there on your scalp slips down through the lens of your hair and that is enough wash for you the lens of your hair you don't need as much because when you're dripping or, or pouring all of that water on your hair you're working your fingers through your hair so you're washing your hair in turn you know cleaning all of that gunk in your hair so don't use separately the shampoo on the lens of your hair your hair doesn't need as much 
the scalp is the target and this has been really helpful peppermint oil you can get it on amazon i have got like a big bottle so that you know uh, i have seen a huge difference with two weeks of use with this and i'm really loving it and it is a uh, relaxer if you are a person who is working long day and you have like a lot of stress you come home with headaches after work this is your go-to uh, another alternative for pepper peppermint oil is rosemary oil and tea tree oil you can use those two and eucalyptus oil even eucalyptus oil is overpowering so i don't really like it as much this is really good so that is all about all of these so-called myths researches on silicone and i don't know i even like ammonia color they last longer ammonia free doesn't last as much they um i don't know it's a whole lot of information on the internet again um the kind of color that i'm using is marjoram and i mix with with the l'oreal oxidant developer and i don't feel as much irritation depends upon person to person if you're uh, you know comfortable with ammonia free products you can go with it but all in all it all depends upon your diet have a healthy diet cut down on your junk junk food junk cut down on your junk food don't eat anything that is unhealthy with a lot of preservatives try to eat all natural try to take like detox smoothies every once a week so that really helps with the blood circulation your hair needs blood circulation and this peppermint oil helps with blood circulation so that you can have healthy hair growth and your scalp is you know clean clean and healthy with no issues whatsoever that is all for this video i'm not going to blab anymore you can do the research that is best suited for your hair my hair has been really healthy i have put it in top bun i find this is like a secure way of holding your hair because curly hair tends to be victimized you know friction with your clothes is a victim to friction when it rubs on to your clothes so uh i find this better and all in all hair fall has been reduced so again i time to wind up this video i have spoken a lot but that's all for this video if you like this video hit the like button tell me what is your routine routine and what suits you best in the comment below if you want to till then bye